Somebody asked me at the weekend, will we cure cancer? This is a big word. It's a big, it's a big ambition because there's so many different types of cancer. That, you know, that, that's a big word that covers a lot of different disease types. But I think we'll be able to, to cure a lot of them. Um, Are you going to be a part of that? I hope so. <laughs> I, I that that's yeah. Well, you can help you can tell by my smile. That that's the sort of thing that motivates us. You know, is to really drive to drive towards those kind of, um, yeah, inventions. And, and you know, who'd have thought where we were now, like we'd look 20 years ago, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
forget about the, the sort of the risky stuff and the future stuff. There's, you know, let's let's focus on, you know, core blood and more traditional types of medicine and how can we support that in the short term. But I think we have to take some risks in this in this industry to move things forward. So and she had a very strong response. You know, she got very sick, which we, we now know meant the cells were working. Right. And over the course of just a few days, you know, her cancer really disappeared. Wow. Um, and now we're 10 plus years out, um, you know, led to the Novartis licensing and ultimately the 2017 approval mm -hmm. of CAR T as a therapy. So, you know, the result with Emily Whitehead was beyond our wildest dreams. It turned out 90% of patients treated on our, our trial here at Children's Hospital. In the first 60 patients we had, 90% had a complete remission. That's unheard of. Yeah. So that, that allowed us in 2012 then to begin this journey of asking, could you commercialize that? So really, that one patient almost opened the, the path for the entire field and for uh, other patients. So just a remarkable time, exhilarating time, at, uh, you know, um, when, when those initial responses were happening. And I think it goes back to that initial need that Cytiva was able to fill and really enable the industrialization and globalization of these therapies beyond these limited academic centers. That was definitely, um, it was basically the time where we all looked at each other and said, hey, our customers are scaling up. They need something bigger. They need something that can do more. It's really, you know, we're, we're going into that GMP environment. Yeah, I think, you know, the, the, the leaders at the time took a risk, but it was a pretty calculated risk. I mean, the, the, the results of what was happening within that, the, the, the within that CAR-T space at that time, the, the phenomenal sort of results that they'd achieved, which were beyond expectation, I believe. Yes, there was some vision, and it took vision for those guys to see beyond um, beyond the short term and see long term play, but that's really what, what the leaders of the company at the time did, and um, yeah, it was pretty, well, I'm certainly very grateful for, 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 the, for that vision, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's something that I think they can, those guys can, and be proud of taking that risk. There was a handful, less than five people, labs, in the world working on this back in 2010, you know, when, when our first patients were treated. And now there's more than a thousand trials underway and thousands of laboratories working on this. So there's no, no way I could have thought that when this, you know, the first approval happened that we would have this kind of progress in, in such a short period of time. If I, if I go back to sort of industry 10 years ago, they were in rooms smaller than this room um, with a couple of incubators and a hood. And now and I walked into one of these sort of commercial manufacturing centers and it was like a warehouse. And it's full of equipment that's digitally connected and, um, and it's, a, it's a world apart from where we were. And, and for me, what hit me was that, that that change, that growth from 10 years back of what a, what a manufacturing facility looked like back then to there and to sink and to then put that forward and think how many patients, how many families' lives will be um, impacted by the activities in that room. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty impressive. That was pretty, I was proud of what the, what the team has done, um, what the industry has done the, and just to be a small cog in the wheel of it has been, yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, it was a good moment. What can I say? 